In this video, we're going to spend some time taking a look at how to style the tables that are generated um, in Rails, specifically as we create different uh, models. Uh, the default table that we're typically given it looks something like this, and, and and you know this obviously doesn't have to be the the way that we display each of the different. Um, uh, lists of, of objects in uh, for a particular model, but I thought we would work with this and uh, look at some ideas on how to make this more aesthetically pleasing. One of the things um, that you know I typically expect to see is that you know if I've got a row I, that I should be able to click on the items that are there. So you know click on the the course number or the the, um, the name for instance uh, instead of having something like a show button. The other thing is, you know, I'd like to add, I don't know, icons or something like that next to the edit and the destroy um, to visually give me a sense of what it is I'm supposed to be able to do with that. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time playing around with that. So let's start off with the tables. Um, in Bootstrap, um, there is um, a table class that we can use, which basically turns our table into something like this, where it's, you know, nicely formatted. There are actually a number of different types of tables that are available to us, but let's start off with this, just this. And this is really easy. We just add, come up here and we add a class a table to um, to our table. And uh, with a click of the refresh, look at this, we have a table that's been um, formatted using uh, Bootstrap. But there's a number of different forms that we could use here um, instead of the default table. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other ones. So here is a stripe table. So that what this does is every other uh, every other row has shading in it. So let's let's take that one. So it's table striped. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna save it. And refresh, and now I have a stripe table. Let's see what else we have. We have a bordered table. So this adds in um, the boxes for the table. So what that looks like. I want to keep the striping bordered. I think that's right. Yep. Okay. Save it and refresh. So now we've got that. No, we've got something funky going on here. What is it? Oh, column span should be three, not two. Okay, there we go. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's a couple of options. I think they have other options for coloring. Let's see. Oh, here's a, a hovering. Uh, I like that. Let's see what that does. <coughs> table, what is it? Hover. Let's see what this does. Okay, now when, now, my problem with this is I want to see that. I expect that to be able to click on these rows, right? And so we want to fix that somehow. Um, I'm going to get rid of the bordering. I think that kind of looks ugly. Fresh. Okay, so now we have a table that you know where I can um, mouse over. And I know then which row I've actually moused over. So um, anyway, so that's uh, the others here. So we can have a condensed table, so it makes uh, makes the the rows a little thinner. Um, you have a way of being able to each for each one of the rows change. The coloring based on some status. Um, I'm not going to touch that one for now. Um, yeah. So anyway, so that's uh, that's a couple of things that we could do to uh, to style the table. Uh, let's end here. In the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how to change the. Uh, we're we're going to add an icon to each one of these. Uh, and these elements here actually we'll get rid of the show column and add an icon for edit and destroy and then we'll change 
these each of these items in the row into a clickable element. Anyway, that's the end of this video.